And now a public service announcement from Raytana Station. Remember, you can't spell slaughter without laughter. So, hi everybody. It's Raytana Station. And the reason why I'm dressed like this is because I wanted to show off my new cosplay of the Vocaloid Minkoid, otherwise known as Gumi. Yay! I still need boots, but otherwise, got done it. And I should be getting them quite soon, so I can be Gumi at Anime Expo! Yay! So I do not have a plan today, but we're not going to do what we did last week and make a 42 minute video. No, I would rather the video be 25 minutes than go over 30 minutes, but I tried to cut so much stuff out and it just didn't work because there was a lot of important things to be said. <laughs> anyway, so, and we're going to try to do more entertaining things this week again, because last week was a lot of talking. So before we get into the good stuff, we're going to do the, the top, top five, five videos, videos of, of the, the week. week. You know the drill, click upon the links that I have put in the video in annotations. And then, listen to... That's a quote! Awesome! Simple, yet meaningful. Here is this week's quote. 28 days, 6 hours, 42 minutes, 12 seconds. That is when the world will end. So be prepared. Be prepared. Go out there and buy yourself a chainsaw and chainsaw some motherfuckers. Speaking of chainsaws, I am so excited about Lollipop Chainsaw. I pre-ordered it so I get the Jimmy Urine skin. Yatana! If you don't know what Lollipop Chainsaw is, go look up the trailer. It's hilarious! And the girl who plays, um, plays Juliet, also plays um, Bubbles from the Powerpuff Girls and uh, Timmy Turner from Fairly Odd Parents and a bunch of other people because she's an amazing voice actress. Ayata. <laughs> Exploding Bunny, we've called you here today because, well, this is an intervention. You see, your friends and I kind of feel like you have a habit, a more like an addiction to exploding. And even though you've only, you know, exploded a few times since I've got you, it's a few times too many. And we're concerned. We're afraid that you're going to explode too much and you're going to get hurt. So your friends and I have come up with a few words and suggestions to uh, try and convince you to control your addiction for exploding. Um, I guess I'll go first since this meeting was my idea. Exploding Bunny. I know that the word exploding is in your name, but that doesn't mean that you have to explode every time you get wound up and hop around the table. It's, it's very troublesome to those of us who like to not explode, for those of us who have never exploded in our life. Well, I guess technically I've exploded, but that was on accident. Accidents happen. For your explosions, it was no accident, and we're concerned. Exploding can lead to horrible, horrible symptoms. One is not being able to control your actions, such as exploding when you don't want to explode.
another terrible symptom is, well, vomiting. No one likes vomiting. I'm sure rabbits very much don't like vomiting. You have a tiny stomach. And you're a toy. So that doesn't make much sense. Another symptom is... Really? Loss of the use of your spleen? Who did this research? Chicky, you do realize that loss of use of, of your spleen is not exactly a common symptom of exploding, considering the fact that when you explode, you no longer have a spleen. Yeah, but... You know what? Never mind. Never mind. Getting past, um... Chickie's research. So. Oh, another symptom is loss of your voice because you'd be gone. I mean, you've already exploded enough, so you haven't exactly started um, experiencing these symptoms, but eventually you're going to start exploding without control over your explosions and and these things are going to happen to you and it's, it's horrible. Growing another pair of eyes? Chicky! Well, if it wasn't you, then who was it? Vegeta, this is a serious situation! Exploding money has a problem! With exploding! Do you have any idea what that's like? No, because you're the one who always does the exploding. Mr. I like to blow up planets and... stuff. Stupid saying. Okay, who would like to go next? Not Vegeta and not Chicky. You've obviously proved that you're not taking this seriously. Goldie Puss, would you like to go next? Goldiepus made some very valid points. See, he knows what he's talking about. I don't understand why the rest of you can't just come up with something encouraging for Exploding Bunny. He doesn't need to hear, oh, your spleen won't work, or you'll grow another pair of eyeballs. Well, you won't grow another pair of eyeballs, Vegeta! God! That's impossible. Impossible. But like Goldie Puss said, the only way that you can get the motivation to stop exploding is to get some help. And that's why your friends are here to help you. Goldie Puss, Little Me, Vegeta and Chicky are totally out of this. Gumby and OMFG Dinosaur. I mean, you and OMFG Dinosaur came to the store at the same time. And I bought you guys in a small amount, in a small interval. You guys were the friends have been friends for the longest time. Yes, Chicky, I know you were there. But nobody really cares about you right now. You're dumb. So exploding bunny. Please. Please will you quit the exploding for us? For your friends? We're not picking on you, Exploding Bunny. And we're also not talking about Chicky's cocaine problem. We're talking about your exploding problem. We'll get back to Chicky when when we care about Chicky, okay? We don't care about Chicky. Sorry, Chicky. We want you to quit exploding. Just quit exploding. It's harming everybody. Every time you explode in my hand, it hurts. It burns. You don't realize that explosions involve fire. 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 I don't like fire. None of us like fire. I wasn't.
wasn't talking to you, Vegeta. No one cares if you don't like fire. Shut up. No exploding, buddy. Please. Please just do it for us. I think me and Goldie Puss are the most worried about you, considering the fact that we're around more often. And I don't like it when I'm sitting there at the computer trying to find good pictures of Zader and what happens right next to me? Boom! Bunny explosion! You think I like that? And how do you even come back? Anyway, you'll explode at my at my desktop and then the next thing you'll be by the lamp across the room! How do you do that? It's impossible! We just want you to stop exploding. Please, for us, please just stop exploding. <laughs> Shut up, Vegeta! And today's word of the day is one that's not exactly in the dictionary. Cadaverific! Video reaction time, and I'm sorry there's people outside talking, but whatever, you can't stop that. Now, I've actually gone through a couple of videos hoping to find a good one, and I haven't found one, obviously, so we're going to try this one. Please be worth it. stupid people be stupid! <laughs> Aside from riding giant spools down a hill, the awesome picture for today is this picture of an eyeball egg. It's an eyeball that was cracked out of an egg. The eyeball is the yolk. It's, just, it's a simple eyeball egg. And you know, things like that actually don't gross me out. You'd think that it would. If anything, it actually makes me kind of want eggs. Today, for learning some Japanese, I'm just going to go over the days of the week, starting with Monday. So, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So, starting with Monday, it's Getsuyo, Kayo, Suiyo, Mokuyo, Kinyo, Doyo, and Nichio. One more time from Monday. Getsuyo, Kayo, Suiyo, Mokuyo, Kinyo, Doyo, Nichio. And now you know how to say the days of the week in Japanese. Nihongo, yatane! <laughs> frustrating. The program that I use to edit my videos, the Corel Video Studio, um, has been doing this thing. And this is recent too. This has never happened with anything before. It's deciding to crash every time I try to put an AVI file into the timeline. It's a ha. Uh, 
Hi, Goku and Vegeta kissing on my desktop. <laughs> Why do I always do that? Oh, I'm so weak. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, so it says this unspecified error, actually. It says, The program has encountered an unspecific error and has stopped functioning. Please contact Corel Technical Support and send them the dump files for analysis. Ha, <laughs> dump. So it gives me the dump files, and I know where they are. It gives me a different dump file every every time, though. So I contacted them, and they told me that my driver was out of date and blah, 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 because I had to send in my um, system info and such. And it was great and all. And they told me how to you know update all this stuff and update Windows and stuff. And so I did it, and it didn't do anything. It didn't work. My timeline doesn't seem to have a problem with uh, putting WMV files in there, so I guess. And it sucks because this camera exports as an AVI, so that means I have to convert every single segment before I go in and edit. Just another fucking step added to my arduous task of editing. It's really, really horrible. Ritana, please, I've come back from the future. Whatever you do, do not go into the kitchen in the next five minutes. Don't do it. You'll regret it. it it's horrible. It's, it's horrible. <laughs> okay. You're smart enough to know. Bye. Well, that was weird. Everything seems normal. A couple of questions come to mind. One, how do I learn how to time travel within the next five minutes? And two, what the hell was I warning myself about? It's just a kitchen. It's... Hi, exploding bunny! Um... You aren't still mad about the intervention, are you? Why is everything so dark? What's going on? Why do weird things keep happening to me? <laughs> Silent Hill Sirens? You've gotta be fucking kidding me. You've gotta be fucking kidding me. You've got to be back in time. I have no idea. As far as I know, it's impossible. I only do time travel in my cartoons. I can, I can travel back in time in my cartoons. I can travel back in time in real life, right? Let's see. What do I have that could pose as an obvious object that could bring me back in time? What's this? What is this? This is... This is nothing. It's a waste of my time. Fuck you. Wait. I used to... I used to wear a watch on my wrist, constantly. Since I was 12, I'd wear a watch on my wrist. Where is that damn thing? I stopped wearing it because the registers at work started fucking with it, and I had to get a new one. There it is. That's weirdly ironic that it's right in front of my face. Okay. Enough. Enough of that. Okay. So... 
See, I just need a couple of seconds. I want to I be able to get back in a couple of seconds. So, wait a minute. I didn't even listen to myself. How the fuck am I going to do this if I don't even listen to myself? Okay. Empty threats. Empty threats always work. Okay, so I'll come back in a couple of seconds. Here we go. You stupid bitch! You didn't listen to me! You cannot go into the kitchen in the next five minutes! You'll regret it! Regret it to the point where you're gonna panic and act really... D don't do it or else I come back and I'll cut you. I will cut you. Do not go in the fucking kitchen. I thought you were smarter than that! God! Well, everything looks normal. That's a good sign. Well, the exploding bunny isn't here. And it's not all dark again. See? Empty threats always work. Okay. So, before we go, because we're probably running out of time and probably cutting it close again, I am comparing what it looks like with my new camera on my old camera. This is old camera. This is new camera. Ya da ne. So, you can see that the quality on this camera is better than the quality on this camera, but the audio is better on this camera than it is on this camera. Because this camera doesn't seem to want to give you very loud audio. Ah, uh, Goldie Puss. Selling out is not my thing. Walk away. I won't be broken again. I won't. I won't fall apart. Dream away your life, dream away your dreams, nothing equals nothing. Turn to stone, lose my faith, I'll be gone before it ends. go now because we're probably at a half an hour now. Yay! So, make Boyd Gumi <laughs> Anime Expo. I know for sure I'm going to do Hatsune Miku and uh, Gumi at Anime Expo. I might do Konata. Not sure who my fourth will be. Probably, maybe I'll double or maybe it'll be Scout. But, Yata! So, tomorrow's Friday the 13th. If this is uploaded by tomorrow, cross your fingers. Stay lucky. Okay, I'll be gone. Where the fuck did she go? I have to tell her to not sing that song by Madonna. Because it will end in horrible tragedy for her viewers. Even though I personally love that song. God damn it. God damn. God damn. God damn it. God 